Today on Toy Shiz, a look at some brand new DC Multiverse figures. Let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today, we're totally checking out three of some brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse action figures. And I do apologize ahead of time. Don't have the packaging for either the new Gorilla Grodd or the Flash. I got them in a really nice trade with a great friend of mine and... Yeah, we just don't have the boxes, but I got the box for the brand new Batman White Knight Red Edition, which is starting to hit Target stores now. It is basically just a repaint. We will go over it, show it all off, our code, all that good stuff. So yeah, this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Injustice 2, The Flash, Gorilla Grodd, and Batman The White Knight Red Edition. And of course, here they all are out of the packaging, which we've already kind of seen, but hey, Batman The Red Knight is out. Right, he's looking good. Let's start off with him. Now, as I previously said, last year we saw the release White Knight figures, including this very Batman, but now we're getting more of a comic book cover-ish type coloring for him. You get the exact same type of weapons. Grapple hook that's really from Batman the Animated Series, The Wire, everything else. You do get a DC Multiverse stand and he has the exact same articulation, exact same type of figure. And I think that this is really where they could have shined, as I've spoken before with previous McFarlane toys repaints and such, that they really could have offered us something new in terms of articulation and or a head sculpt to really ramp that up. But I do like the coloring for this guy. A lot of people have said like, oh, it's Catman. You know what I mean? Kind of has that coloring to him. Again, same exact accessories. He's got the loop right there for the wired battering and really nice articulation. I really liked this figure last year. This is one of my favorite Batman. So again, I had to have him. I really enjoy, though, the fact of the pupilless aspect of this Batman. I think that that works with the blue in the eyes. That's really cool. Now let's talk about the Injustice 2 video game Flash figure. And you get some interesting flash effects for this new one. So I'm not griping about that. That's for sure. It's more of a electrical effect right there. You can put it on his arm. You have a type of, I would say, like running effect, a swoosh kind of thing. You could attach that to his leg or his arm, like you're going to punch someone, like in the video game. And then like an electrical burst. That's very cool as well. All of them gummy, rubber, you're not going to break anything. They can be stretched, outstretched. DC Multiverse stand, of course. And bingo, bango, yeah, you got the Flash here from the video games. And kind of fiddling with them, the sense of... It's not your normal Flash sort of body. He's very stocky. Not that lanky type of athletic Flash. He's very muscular and built. And it's kind of grown on me. I will admit the articulation in the head is nice. You get some nice looking ups right there. So you can get some running poses and he looks down as well. He's got butterflies, he's got up, down, left, right. Really nice, really nice posability in the arms. The biceps, however, do not do much. They get caught. And I think it's because of the shape of the costume right there. So you can force it, but it's gonna start chewing at it right there. He's got double jointed elbows, which look nice and really nice hidden wrist articulation. That's what I like to see, those, those ball joints. That's, I think, the better way to do it. I think that looks great. He will twist at the abdomen, the waist. Again, with most McFarlane Toys figures, I do wish they crunched forward they do crunch back no problem and again twists at the waist he does kind of have that diaper thing like let's say like the nightwing has and as you can see when you move the legs up unfortunately on that rubber piece you start to see the stress of the plastic that's a bummer right there you're putting it out to the side and stuff won't do that but uh, yeah just be careful on the knees They're very stuck so just go easy this side not so much double jointed knees toe articulation and then the ball ankles as well. Not so much complaints for the ball ankles. I really like the wrist joints as they are hidden. This flash is interesting. The effects for him, you can do what you want with it. These are just some of the things, you know, if you look at the video game or try to make the best out of the effects, they do kind of seem like an afterthought. They work and they don't work, if that makes any sense. Like this, 
You get him in the running pose, which, by the way, you're going to have to have a stand. He doesn't have thigh swivel. It's a good flash. It's not a great flash. It's just somewhere in that between. Like, the effects are good, and they're also not good. So, in this sense, you know, I'll leave it up if you're a big Flash fan, but it's just okay. Gorilla Grodd, however, let me just tell you. Here's the DC Multiverse stand, because <laughs> I have to point that out on each one. This is the star of the show right here. This figure is awesome. He's heavy. He's chunky. He's got so many things going on to which the black fur really does break up all of that gold. It's kind of like an illustration and all the main points are gold, which you can see the detail, the sculpted, it's everything. It's, it really stands out. I love the skulls that are on the very ornate, very sharp. Everything's sharp on this guy too, by the way. The helmet is cool. And to answer your question, the main question you probably all have, no, the armor is not removable. And I, I like his toe jewelry. On the back, again, all that sculpted detail really carries over. And he's just a big menacing gorilla grod. And that's what we want to see with some good head articulation. Now I do wish his jaw moved. That's a big thing I really wish that his jaw moved, he could open and close it. He's got butterfly joints. The armor, I'm not gonna complain about this at all. In some areas, it can be kind of cumbersome, but the figure looks so dang good, I don't care. It does everything and all the poses that I would expect for a giant armored gorilla. He's got single jointed elbows. You can move them around. He also swivels at them as well. And I like the hands. These are cool, interesting hands, big claws. He's just got a lot of stuff going on, but it works. And he's really right from the video game. So he'll go back. He'll kind of crunch. Again, that's just something I wish they could improve upon right there. Swivels at the waist. Gets around the belt and all that kind of stuff that he has. And then nice articulation in the legs. There's nothing at the thigh. Again, much like the Flash, just go easy on this guy. He's got single jointed knees, which that's all he needs. I really am happy with the articulation. And no ball joint articulation. That is flush. That looks good. Real good. He's got toe articulation. He, he, this is one of the best multiverse figures I feel that they have done. This is a new home run. There's also a silver platinum edition version where it's just replaced the gold armor with platinum armor. I haven't seen that one myself in stores. I've seen photos. It does look good. So if you wanted to, I mean, you could get like a platinum grod and get a bunch of gold ones, vice versa. An army of Gorilla City. I don't know. <laughs> but it looks fantastic. Now, in terms of heights and all that kind of stuff, much as Multiverse has been all over the place. The Flash figures, there's been a lot of Flash characters, we'll just say. He's around that height of seven inches, and he does fit, let's say, with the video game Arkham Asylum Batman. So in that sense, if you wanted to combine the two video games, I'd say you'd be in... Pretty good shape, not gonna lie. When it comes to the White Red Knight, <laughs> they are, again, same figure, everything lines up. However, I do really like the colors on this guy. I think it's interesting and I really like the very muted out blue white eyes. I think that's very cool on him. And he does go well with the various versions of Azrael. So bad armor or just standard. It all goes well, it all matches up height wise. So. Very cool to have that. And plus, it's it's interesting colors. I do. I really like it. Gorilla Grodd, I'm glad. Now, I kind of see Grodd as a bigger figure, and I think that has to do with Justice League, Justice League Unlimited cartoons and such, where I really got to know Grodd. But I think height-wise, he's taller than Superman, and I think that that really does... Well, that's fine, as long as he's more of a massive, chunkier character than Superman, and especially Flash. He's taller than the Flash, so height-wise, I would say that these all do match up. It's a different Grodd, it's Injustice 2, but he's a dang cool figure. But that's going to wrap it up for my look at these three brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse figures. Again, they are hitting store shelves now. And you can keep your eye out for them. Of all of them, I must say hands down, you need Gorilla Grodd. Fantastic figure. I like the colors for Batman White Knight Red Edition. However, he is not integral to your collection. Unless you're a huge Batman White Knight fan, I would say it is kind of a pass. 
It's just a fun repaint. And in terms of Injustice 2 Flash, I do like the accessories, but again, there are certain nitpicks that I have with it. And it's really one of those where I would say, unless, again, you're a huge Injustice 2 fan or Flash fan, I, you don't really need it for your collection. There's really nothing that goes, wow. But I am curious to know what you guys think about these figures. Do you have them? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, get rod. <laughs> and when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. <laughs>